All right, everyone, welcome back to Fossil Adventures. You can probably guess by the view, we've come back to Saltwick again today. Uh, it was Mark's little mystery tour today. He wouldn't tell us where we was going, but uh, we turned off and come to Saltwick. So, lovely day. There's one person collecting on the beach down there. We heard them chipping away. But we want to try and get right round the headland today and uh, hopefully find some bits and bobs. So, guys are uh, just going to go down there. Maybe a little bit early, but we could do a bit of scrambling over there. And it looks like it's going to be... Sorted day for February, blazing sunshine. Might actually get down to wear a t-shirt today, you never know, if you're lucky. <laughs> so uh, down on the beach now, a uh, couple of people collecting there. Uh, to the north, but we're heading south, so I'll see what we can find. A um, few bits of rock balancing, quite like that tree trunk there that's been bent out, looks quite like a person. I think it's pretty cool, really. Someone's been balancing a few stones. I don't like that piece of wood, see it looked look like a person from quite a distance away. wonder where that's come from. Anyway, enough of the art installation, let's go find some fossils. Quite a lot of sand here today, on this uh, first part of the beach. So as I said, it's a little bit early to get around there. We can start climbing over there though. So we just thought we'd uh, do these pieces around here, see what we can find. Someone's uh, smashed that up already. Part of an ammonite showing there. Got some calcite in it. Might be worth having another whack of that in a minute, I think. Need to get the goggles out of the rucksack though, I think. That's full of pyrite, so it'll be going all over. It's just a case of checking some of these boulders. Never know what's in them. Sorry, shell, anyway, it's not a boulder, is it? Little nutshell in there. Some shell remains in there. You just don't know what's in them. I did spot uh, part of an ammonite in this one. Crushed ammonite. Quite nice. Some more nutshells in there. Ovums. Better than eight in that piece there. It's disappearing. <clears throat> That's full of nutshells in there. Anything? No, I don't think there's really much down here, is there? Is that your hammer? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you haven't found a nice oh, hammer, Mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mark thought he'd uh, discovered a good fan there. He's found a father before, so I won't put it past him to find a nice uh, <laughs> nice S-wing hammer, but there you go. No, that is mad.
Not particularly recommended there, but there we go. Uh, let's not look up there, eh? But anyway, uh, what I wanted to film was just that there. Like, I don't know if you can see him peeking in there. I don't know if the centre's in there, but... I don't know how long that's been sat in there, though. <laughs> no middle in it, but there you go. That was quite nice, didn't it? Almost pre prepped. See if we can find anything else. We'll probably leave that, and if someone else wants to collect it, um, they're welcome to it. But it was just sat in there. We'll catch up with Mark in a minute, see if he's found out. There's another one, a blown out one in there, look. You can see that. We won't be taking him, but quite nice, we thought we'd point that out. Plenty of nutshells. Little nodule stuck out of there, that. There you go. Take that. First pick up of the day. That's worth hitting with a hammer. Can't see anything peeking out of that one, but definitely worth a tap. Oh, there had been one in there, look. But we broke it. And I know people are going to moan at me. Oh, you're smashing ammonites up and stuff like that. But as I've said before, there was nothing at all showing on the outside of there. And you're not going to take that home and spend hours prepping that down out of that hard nodule to find nothing. And the seal smash it if I do it anyway. So it's just one of them things. So I'm still finding plenty of uh, worn out ducks and that, but the uh, stuff we're not collecting. We've just been talking about it, but there's another partial one in there, look. Just sat there. Nice little ammonite. Bit missing though, so say so we'll leave that for someone else if they want to collect it, or the sea can claim it at a later date. There's a part there near my foot.
So I'm going to try and get right round up to the fog station today. So I know we're taking our time on here. We'd have maybe just walked round, but they're uh, seizing a bit yet. So we're just doing a bit of scrambling. So might as well crack on while we can. Mark's literally cracking on there. <laughs> that is true, Mark, yeah. There's another partial one in there. You can see that eroding out and an audio. Again, not we're taking that one. Oh, from down there. <laughs> There's one in there, I think. Yeah. More little of them shells. Pick my hammer up, I don't want to forget that. So I was just uh, saying hopefully there'll be some plant material further around there but <clears throat> I don't know, it just depends on uh, if the tide has moved any of the rocks and stuff like that. I've had some lovely plants from Saltwick before, I wouldn't mind finding some more but it's uh, not totally up to us is it? But it's a nice piece of timber in there, in the sandstone. Just dropped my hammer, good job it didn't fall down the crack else it would have been gutted. There's yeah, still plenty of bits of ammonites and stuff like that, but nothing we want to be taking home. So there's one in there, look. Centre would be there. Leave it on there. Bit too thin that, I don't think there would be anything in there. It's a bit hard to do that one under, I shouldn't mess about really. But it's so tough these nodules, there's a lot of iron pyrite in them. As you can tell. Fortunately, nothing in there. But sometimes you can get crustacean parts in there and stuff like that so they are worth uh, hitting with a hammer sometimes putting your plant material in that slab right let's crack on because they'll be leaving me behind getting all the good fans while i'm filming 